This CND doesn't seem to be the most eventful CND, but uh, if you look at the member states, there are a lot of things happening in, in the country level. We had yesterday here a side event um, from the Norwegian government where they presented the outcome of you know a year-long um, study by a special committee um, set up to look into the possibility of decriminalization and how it might work in Norway. The Norwegian proposal, um, of course, it's still just a proposal. It's being subject to public consultation. It will not come for decision to the parliament until early next year. But, you know, it's a very progressive recommendation of decriminalization. Can you please explain us why do you think it's uh, the, the reform of drug law is needed in Norway? Because the punishment for use or prohibition of illegal drugs is... Uh, uh, is one of the reasons that people with uh, uh, drug dependence are uh, stigmatized in the society. And stigmatization is uh, a bur it's, uh, uh, hindering us in giving people good health care. And we need, really need to give people more help. We don't need to punish people. The committee proposed a model where use, acquisition and possession of a limited quantity of drugs for personal use will still constitute illegal acts and trigger a response. The response, however, will not have to be criminal, and we uh, propose that it should not be, uh, but instead uh, you should, as a person who uses drugs, have to meet for a municipal counselling unit. Dealings with drugs not closely related to personal use will still be a criminal offence, a very strict criminal offence. And um, there is no proposal to legalise drugs in the sense of regulated sale for rec recreational purposes. Thank you very much. My name is Ari Knutsen, leader of the Association for Humane Drug Policy in Norway. I'm a drug user activist. And uh, we wrote this petition that Ben Tøye told about. And after this, the civil society in general and the drug user organizations have been included in the work. And I remember, Mr. Hay, how we were standing outside the parliament with posters and banners and yelling at the government and the parliament. And we didn't go get nowhere. And when we were included, we had this cooperation. Now we are getting into an evidence-based and human rights-based politics. So uh, this is so just so fantastic. And Ben I thank you so much. Thank you so much, John. And we have been discussing this for over 20 years. We have been disagreeing. You had right, I had wrong. <laughs> You refer to in your speech that you have been discussing this with civil society for like 10 years. So what was the role in civil society in convincing you? No, the civil society has been the driving force for this reform. I was against this uh, reform for like 20 years and have been in many, many discussions with the civil society. But they convinced me that this is uh, the way forward because they had the best argument and the best facts and also the best uh, personal experience. The Norwegian proposal aims to change the fundamental reactions of authorities to persons using drugs. It's an example of how states, at their own discretion, can adopt humane policy measures based on a public health-oriented approach. It is fully consistent with the conventions to exempt the possession of small quantities of drugs from criminal prosecution and instead react in a proportionate manner to minor drug offences through health-centred, non-punitive actions. The World Health Organization views drug control measures as means to protect the health and welfare of humankind, as required by the preamble to the conventions. As such, we welcome the approach taken by you in Norway? Uh, from a medical perspective, the first definition is primum non noce. And anything that is just as a punishment should not have nothing to do and has nothing to do with the medical and public health approach. And it's important, I'm sure this will contribute to reduce the stigma. On behalf of our office, I welcome Norway's new proposal on the drug reform, which we commend to move away from the punitive approach to supportive approach in addressing drug situation. The Norwegian new proposal is not only an important and positive state for the protection of human rights in your own country, 
but surely it will be a good practice model for many others around the world in coming years and decades. What do you recommend to other countries who came here to the CND? Uh, I recommend them to have a dis discussion and go into the facts and findings that uh, we now have and discuss their own drug policy.